morning back out again. Saturday the 12th of August. Me and Bertie Boy are up in Aviemore, and we're going to do a cheeky wee corbett today. Gail, Cam, Moore. It's only a few miles from Aviemore, so it's 10 o'clock in the morning, and this one's only about 12 kilometres. So it'll take about four hours or so. Four or five hours, that's it, right? Aye. Yeah, four hours tops. Four hours tops, hopefully. So, no one knows, decided to do, start doing the corbets. Aye, it's, uh, it's not, not cold, not windy, ideal. Well, this is about 600 odd metres, about an hour in. Good path all the way, all the way to the top. It's another 200 metres to go, shouldn't take too long. Standing a bit windy, just bit of rain. off the main track and start to head up this way. Still a decent path. Not too far now. Another half an hour or so. See the cairn and the trick point. Here we are at the summit of Gale Car Moor, 824 metres, which is a corbett. That was less than two hours. Nice one, buddy. Well yeah. Yeah. Oh. That was pretty straightforward, eh? Yeah. How's the knee? Uh, that's I, a, that's yeah. a bad, eh? It's down, usually more. Aye, oh. yeah. Okay, wake up. <laughs> we have got a couple of cans of cider, so me and Brett are going to enjoy a wee cider if we're up here. Well, cheers from the summit of Gale Car Car Moor. Cheers, Brett. Cheers. <laughs> Around. So that's just heading back down and we've just 
not far from the main track. There's a big cairn that marks where you cut off to head up. We're just back at that. Aye, so this is a nice wee walk, nice and straightforward, up and down. I'll be eating Ronnie Corbett for a change. I've not done many Corbett's. Done Goat Fair, I've done. Eh, what else have I done? The Cobbler. I think that's it. I think that's all the Corbett's I've done. So we're going to have a wee leisurely day back in Aviemore, go for a swim, and we'll maybe take a wee trip to the Green Lock in tomorrow before heading back down the road. Here we are back at the cairn. Take the ditch the jacket, I think. There's a cairn there. Right, ditch the jacket. So, Brett's having no problems with his knee, so he's up to walk down the hill backwards. Was thinking up, but real problems going back down. So I think I'm, I think I'm in no days are over. Not a good sign. <clears throat> Aye, so Brett's been nursing an injury, the injury for a good few months, and that's the reason why we're not doing any manos this weekend. He was thinking up, but it's giving them real problems going back down. Not a good sign when you're hiking buddies. Got a gammy knee. We're booked up to go to up near Strathcairn for three nights in September to do a few windows, but that might not be happening if Brett's not up for it. She's gonna get it seen to during the week, maybe get the X-ray or get some medical input. Take a wee pit stop here on the way down. Turned out really nice. Good views. Ah. A cracking track all the way up. It really is. Good for a biking hike. Back of the car, so it's pretty much bang on four hours. That was an enjoyable walk today. Nice wee corbett, wee sneaky corbett for a change. So, if you watched this far, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.